These are the kidneys. They're bean-shaped organs about the size of your fist that sit right below the rib cage on either side of the spine. When they're functioning properly, they filter 120 to 150 quarts of blood every day, removing waste and turning it into urine, which is then, you know. When they're not functioning properly, you can either go on dialysis, which sucks, or you need a new kidney. Luckily, almost everyone is born with two kidneys, both of which are massively over-engineered. Just one kidney working at 75% capacity is more than capable of keeping a person alive and healthy, which is why when a person's kidneys fail, another person can donate their spare, which is what I'm doing. A surgeon will go in laparoscopically and cut out one of my kidneys, most likely the left because the right hides behind the liver. Then they'll do a C-section style incision and pull out the intact kidney from my abdomen and ship it off to a stranger. It's called a nephrectomy. There are other things that can go wrong with a kidney apart from renal failure, like for instance, renal cell carcinoma. It's a type of cancer that grows in the proximal convoluted tube in the kidney, which according to Wikipedia, is the part that transports primary urine, whatever that means. Renal cell carcinoma is the most common type of kidney cancer in adults, and it's what my dad was just diagnosed with last week. So I'm not the only one in the family who's getting a nephrectomy. Why? Why would you ever do it in the first place? Why would I donate my kidney? Because looking at the facts of what's gonna happen is scary because I'm gonna have surgery and scars and it'll take like a month to heal completely and go back to work and that sort of thing. But um, by all other accounts, I should be fine after that. The change in somebody else's life could be like really amazing and it might fail and it might not work. Their body might just reject it or I might never know. Um, I don't think the good of, of what could be done is negated by the possibility of the negatives that might happen. And I know, I, like I know it doesn't make sense to people because people say it to me all the time that it doesn't make sense or they don't understand why I'm doing it and I don't know how to explain it other than I see an immense amount of good that can be done and I see no reason to not do it. So why would I not do it? Can you just give your kidney to your dad? Well, he doesn't need it, is the thing. Um, so with my dad, they're doing a, um, sorry. <laughs> I think this is the first time I've cried about this. Okay. So with my dad, they're doing a partial nephrectomy. They caught the tumor so early um, that he wasn't even symptomatic yet. Um, they caught it because they were looking for something else because his gallbladder went bad. You can survive on the capacity of one kidney easily, and there's nothing wrong with his other kidney. He should be okay with the other one, or you know, one and a half, because they're taking part of the first one. Um, so he doesn't actually need it, and I know there's always a chance, right? So there's always a chance that one day he'll need mine and I won't be able to give it to him, but I feel like those chances are so small. Um, so why would I give up everything I've been working toward and not do it anymore, you know? Like, why would I make that decision based on the fear of what could happen rather than based on the facts of what I have in front of me? I don't even know if I would be a match for my dad I mean, I could look into that. I could give him a call right now. I don't even know his blood type, you know? I could literally give him a call right now, find out his blood type, find out that it's like B or something, and then we wouldn't be a match, and then I wouldn't even have to think about any of this. So that might be a good solution. I just need to call my dad. I should probably call my dad. Hey. Hey, um, how you doing? Hey, 